The Schillingers and Stantons have had no shortage of success in eastern North Dakota and western uh, Montana, other way around. You may know <laughs> that they're, what you may not know is that their relationship away from the field. As Jeff Roberts wraps up our three-part series, he gives us a closer look at how deep that relationship truly goes. Baker, Montana, a town of 1,800 people with a history of developing local athletes. The Stantons and Schillingers were every bit a part of it. Well, other than our primary, the Schillinger family, I mean, you'd almost say that the, the Stantons, they've been a second family. There's a lot of closeness there, a lot of respect. Uh, no, we don't share the same last name, but you could say we're kind of like family. Beginning in 1967, Jim Stanton coached Jim Schillinger in circle. Years down the line, Jim Schillinger began teaching in Baker. When the superintendent role opened up in 1980, Jim Stanton was his first call. If you go over in the state of Montana, there's, it's a pretty well-known, the Stantons, and then my uncle coaching for 35 years. And I think his respect that he had from other administrators and coaches probably helps because he treated people the right way. The next generation took notice. You could see it in the four Stanton boys, along with Jason Shan Schillinger. You know, you look at my three brothers and the success they've had and Jason Shan, it's, you know, the way that they, they obviously they do a great job coaching, but I think the way that they, the good human beings that treat people well, and I, I think that that's something that we got from, you know, Don, Jim, and my dad. Jim Jr., Pete, Rob, and Dan Stanton all played for Don Schillinger in the 1980s. Jason Shan followed a decade later. You'd always hope as far as with pride within the two families, you'd always hope that you did have a, a, a fair amount of effect on the communities and the areas. We have a lot of pride uh, uh, within the communities and our, and our families, and it's been a great relationship. The Stanton and Schillinger influence is still on full display. One of each is leading a Western North Dakota collegiate program. Uh, it really means a lot to me uh, that He's open, he's reached out, whatever I can do to help, please let me know. I think it's a good thing. It's, I think it's a comforting thing. You know, Shannon and I are always going, going to have a, a great relationship. You know, there's gonna be uh, days coming up, we're gonna both be recruiting the same player, and, and that's good, but we both understand that. While Pete and Shan are at different stages in their coaching career, it's evolving into a regional legacy. Yeah, I can think it's an exciting thing, you know, really for, for, for both programs that, that we can have a, you know, a lot of stability and I think hopefully we're giving, you know, this region something to be proud of too with the way our, our programs are ran. I'm honored to say I'm from Baker. I take pride in it. It's a blue collar town. The support I get, I still get from people from Baker is second to none and it's really neat and I'm privileged to say that I grew up in Baker, Montana because it taught me a lot of values. The Stantons and Schillingers. A relationship built in Baker. For your news leader, I'm Jeff Roberts. The weather is making the state cross country meet a one day event. Class B was going to run on Friday, but everything will be on Saturday at Parker's campground north of Jamestown. Also, today's playoff volleyball match at BSC has been moved to Friday night at the Armory, and tomorrow's Century at Williston volleyball match has been moved to Monday. We'll be right back.